unless you see it on a daily basis, you really don't understand or even try to see it in the game. But um, we does a, a tremendous job of just being a captain and leader for us. And um, he, he's, he's a quiet guy. I mean, he, he really doesn't speak much, but he, he lets his arm do the talking. So, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a guy that's going to be, he should be you know, higher in draft picks than, um, than what he's projected. As a defensive player, do you guys want to take extra special pride in trying to shut Luck down so that you can put Brandon up on that stage a little bit more? Um, yeah, I think as a team, you, you kind of want to do that. Um, I, I think that's just in the back right here. We understand what we have to do first, but uh, I just think we got to stop the run. I think that's something that they hard on. That's something we got to focus on. Thank you. They they are different offenses and different quarterbacks, but in preparing for this and watching him on film, are there some throws Luck makes where you say, man, that's a lot like what we see in practice from week? Yeah, there is. There's um, on some of the power plays, um, the, his placement of the ball and where he puts it is um, something we see every day with Reed. So I think that's something that um, we see and rep every day. But outside of that, I think they're completely two different quarterbacks. They are probably going to be more physical than I think anybody you guys have faced this year. Uh, it, they may be more physical than anybody in the country. Did you guys, and Coach Young called it playing basketball on grass for the last three months. How, how do you get prepared? I mean, you've got a month to do it, but were practices any more physical? Is that not necessarily? I'm wondering how you get prepared for, for a style of offense that maybe you haven't um, seen played at this level. We have the same style of structure that we take into practice. I think uh, normally where we're kind of um, at a third period, we kind of went ahead and went live. I think uh, our, our linebackers and D-line, they did more inside run than um, usual for them. But um, outside of that, it's been the same structure. We just know when the time comes, we have to turn it loose. You guys lead the nation in takeaways. It, they don't turn it over very much, and they've got a quarterback who's really smart. Are you kind of aware of the fact that you may have to be a little more patient to wait for some of those uh, takeaways in this game? Yeah, I mean, we, as, a, as an older guy, you understand you have to be patient. You know, the time's going to come. You can't press it too much, so we just have to be patient with what we're doing. Uh, I mean, they don't turn the ball over, and, we, and we, we live on turnover, so I mean, eventually something has to give. Can you compare their offense to anything that you've faced so far this season? Just because I mean, you've seen so many spreads and really not not a post style offense. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to. Uh, I think the closest we can get to is A and M and what they try to do to us in the first half, or actually the second half, where they just try to run the ball and just want to come out pounding the game. But outside of that, I don't think um, there's any team in our conference that you know does what they do. So just what type of unique challenges does, does that present? Just that you haven't seen anything really like that. Um, you just have to read your keys. I think uh, they're a physical team. They're going to get yards. They're going to move the ball up the field. But if you can be calm and be patient and just understand it, you know, that's what they're good at. And we're going to get our chance. You know, you'll be all right. But you just have to know your silence and they won't have to run to the ball. Yeah, Jamie said at, one, at some point you, schemes kind of go out the window and you got to you know, tackle the guy with the football. Is that kind of how you have to approach it? But, I mean, that's exactly how to approach it. I mean, somebody's going to be, you know, singled up to make the play. Uh, I think that's just something uh, we're aware of, and it's, you know, we're going to pay attention to that. When you look at Oklahoma game, was probably the best defensive game you guys played all season. Texas Tech game was a couple games before that. Do you feel like this defense is now kind of starting to, to find itself a little bit, you know, and, and kind of has, has emerged over these past uh, couple of weeks? I th me, personally, I think the defense has been doing the same thing um, the whole season. I think we've been forcing turnovers. I think uh, at certain points in the season, uh, we, we stopped the run well. And at certain times, we stopped the pass well. I think those were the most complete games we had. But outside of that, I think it's, it's, it's the same thing we've been doing all year.